I feel like the best place to start is at the beginning. I live with a genetic condition that's called cystic fibrosis. So what is it like having a friend with Sia? Living with cystic fibrosis, I have had to endure different obstacles throughout my life, but I knew that I could handle it relying on Christ's strength. I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis at birth. Um, for those who have never heard of cystic fibrosis, it's a genetic disease. It mostly affects the lungs, but it also affects other organs in the body. Basically, in a simple way to say it, the body produces an overload of mucus that clogs the ducts, which are the different pathways of the organs. This causes the organs to not work as properly as they should. So I have to do breathing treatments to help me um, cough up the mucus so that I'm able to breathe better. I have to take enzymes with my food to make sure that I can digest all the nutrients and I have to take insulin um, because my pancreas is scarred and um, the different ducts are clogged with mucus so my pancreas can't work as well. So I do have cystic fibrosis related diabetes and I also have cystic fibrosis liver disease. That's. Do you ever struggle with being that vulnerable? Um, yeah. Like you're uh, not faking it on this on this gym. No, There's no. no there. You can tell that this is the real deal. Yeah, I mean, in the beginning, like I just like did so many videos about CF, like every single video, mm. and then my friends would tell me they're like, "It's nice, but it's a little mm. overwhelming." And I'm like, mm. "Okay, so maybe I need to like." alter this so it's like mm. this is who I am type thing but like still incorporating CF but not just making like a whole ton of stuff so I haven't like yeah I kind of stopped talking about CF and like a lot of my videos and like I'd mention it here and there and then I thought okay when I do talk about CF have it be like a big project video such as this mm -hmm. um in the beginning like I'm like the thing is about like social media like I'm very I'm still very private. Like people think they know everything about me from sure. Instagram and YouTube, but like you're only seeing about 10% of me. So sure. there's like a lot of other stuff yeah. you're not seeing. But when making this tri captive video, I wanted people to see those raw emotions. I wanted people to hear my coughs because in a lot of my videos, I would edit out the coughs so people okay. wouldn't hear it. So I'm like, this one has to be like a full vulnerable look and I'm like they have to hear the cause they have to see and hear the te the tears they have to mm. hear the frustration they have to see the the little perfection ticks I have with being a CF patient I'm like they have to see it all because that's the only way that this is going to work but it will give my friends and my family like a real look because some of my friends don't really get it about like why I get so frustrated about like tiny little things I'm like yeah but like I gotta be perfect about this. Like my doctor has to like this result. Like if my mm. doctor doesn't like this, like the whole thing has gone downhill. So mm. like this whole video is like really capturing the things that I really don't ever, ever, ever share. If you're carrying contagious and if you're carrying my voice is like <coughs> <coughs> Point, I was just doing everything possible that I could to stay healthy. I was, I was surfing when I had the energy to have that natural healing of the ocean to help my lungs. I was doing my breathing treatment about three, sometimes four times a day, and I just was not feeling well. And it was quite obvious because for that entire year, I had this spasm cough, this this weird cough that just wouldn't go away, and it was physically, 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 mentally, and emotionally draining, and I was just, I was tired, so if I could just have this little hope of maybe trichaptic and just work just a little bit, then I would 
I would love that because rumor had it that Trichafta would raise your lung function by at least 13%. I would take any percentage just to feel better. One North and Ninth Street towards Civic Center. Exactly one week ago, I went to my pulmonary appointment and we discussed Trichafta. I do qualify for it because I have the regular CF gene, Delta F508, and I have a rare genotype. Um, so that fits within the qualifications of Trichafta. Um, we were a little bit concerned about how my liver would be able to handle Trichafta because um, just due to past liver issues and having cystic fibrosis liver disease. Um, so my doctors were in communication with my liver doctor to make sure that um, my liver was would be able to handle this drug. Um, so I was finishing my breathing treatment just now and um, going through the emails and I received several emails from my doctor at my doctor's office and one of them is titled Trichafta Approval. There have been different modulators in the past that have helped people with cystic fibrosis such as Orcombi or Syndeco and that has helped a, a good chunk or maybe a small chunk. I'm not really sure how many people in the CF community but it's helped a few people in the CF community, but I never qualified for those modulators because I didn't have the right genotypes that lined up with it. There's the classic genotype for cystic fibrosis that is Delta F508, and that's like the most common one, but there are rare genotypes. So because of my genotype, I never qualified for those past modulators. So this new one, Trichafta, I had actually heard about it through the grapevine. Um, I knew that there was going to be a research study done for it um, to see how it would work for those with cystic fibrosis. The day that Trichafta was announced that the FDA had approved it and that doctors are trying to get a hold of it soon and that they're going to start giving it to people it kind of came of a shock to a lot of the people in the cystic fibrosis community because Trichafta would affect 90% of the CF community, which is huge. Like this is a medication that they've been doing research on and, and perfecting it for several years. It hasn't really, I don't think it's been registering with me that this drug is real and that I will be able to get it just because I have to hear the news that it's been approved. I have to hold it in my hand for me to, for it to actually click. Um, I mean, my team and my parents and everyone's going crazy and I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I qualify, <laughs> cool. But it hasn't been really hitting me yet because I just think, I don't know, I just think the idea of Trichafta and just the possibilities of what it could do to my health in a, in a good way, it's just, I'm excited for Trichafta but I'm also nervous but excited but, but I also feel like it's a dream. Okay. I'm going to open the email. Three, two, one.
Hi guys, so the date is December 2nd, 2019. I just got off the phone with my pharmacist and I will be receiving Trikafta on December, I was supposed to say December 2nd, December 5th, um, which is in three days. Um, basically, there was a holdup in me getting Trikafta. I'd been waiting to hear back from them, hadn't heard anything, talked to my nurse, and she didn't know why there was a holdup, so she was going to contact them. So then I decided I would contact them. Turns out they've had Trikafta, they just didn't let me know that they had it. Um, so I called and I spoke with the pharmacist, and basically, when you when they place the order for or place the shipment for Trikafta, um, they go over your medications with you to make sure that none of it conflicts with Trikafta, and then they tell you how to take it, and then um, symptoms you should be aware of, and then things that you should stay away from. So, out of my list of medications, there's only one that possibly conflicts but my doctors are aware so we're gonna it's a medication I take for my liver so we're gonna see if that you know I might as well say it because there might be another CFR watching this who might be taking that um, Xifaxin I take it for my liver and it's it's not like really bad conflicting with Trikafta it's not on the bad part of the scale but it's on the you should be on the lookout area of the scale of how it would conflict with Trikafta. So my doctors are aware of that. So she said just be aware of that. Um, symptoms with Trikafta are um, stomach ab or abdominal pain, so stomach aches and such. And then um, when taking it, you have to be taking the doses 12 hours apart. From the morning dose to the evening dose and you should be taking it with um, a fat a food with fats in it where you can take it with your enzymes and um, you should also stay away from grapefruit and grapefruit juice so um, the only and also the other times that they change the dosing is sometimes when there are con when it conflicts with your liver so because of my liver my doctor has ordered that I only take the morning dose and not the evening dose today I received a package um, no it's not Trikafta so this comes before you get Trikafta um, ooh, very fancy. <gasps> it's magnetic Sorry, I'm easily entertained. Um, anyways, that's cool. So basically, in this folder, it has welcome materials. It has, <clears throat> oh, okay. So in here, it has different, different folders. So I guess so you can organize the papers. Um, it also gives you room to write what you want to write on the folders. It has a ready set recipes, a recipe guide for delicious snacks and meals. That's cool. A lot of cool recipes. Oh, and it also has room in here so you can write your own recipes. So get to know Vertex GPS. So this looks like that. Um, So it tells you who your specialist is. I don't know if this is different for everybody, but um, it gives you a way to contact your specialist and it gives the name and the number and all that. Basically how um, Vertex GPS works. So basically from a brief skim of that, um, they help you coordinate um, shipping and um, navigating insurance and if there's any problem and then there's this big old wow this is big wow okay 
So this is Trikafta. So this is the pamphlet or booklet about Trikafta. So this shares all the information that you will need to know about Trikafta. Inside that box is filled with Trikafta. And I can't start it yet. The reason why I can't start it is because my liver team would prefer that I get labs done a week prior of starting Trikafta, which they told me today. I'll just have the box sitting for a week longer. I had my liver appointment yesterday and she is pleased with how everything is looking with my liver and she is comfortable of letting me give Trikafta a try. Um, but we will be monitoring my liver closely. I'll be taking labs two weeks after starting Trikafta just to see how all of the levels are doing. So with that said, I am actually going to start Trikafta tomorrow. I don't feel as excited as I should. Um, I honestly feel really nervous. Um, I don't know what to expect. I don't know how my body will react to this. And I think with all of the waiting that I've had to do of getting this medication and waiting to get the approval from my liver doctor um, and just sitting back and watching how all of my CF friends are reacting to this drug, um, it's definitely raised some questions of how is my body going to react. But it's in God's hands. There's literally nothing that I can do about it. It's all in God's hands. I did have a few friends who had already started Trikafta, so they did give me like a little heads up of what I could expect, including like, lots of coughing spasms, um, something that's called the CF purge, where your body is like coughing up all this mucus and you're just like getting all this gunk out of your lungs. So I was kind of prepared for that, but the thing is, people with cystic fibrosis were all very different. Some of us are similar, but we're all very different. I've always tend to fit in the category of being different. <laughs> so I didn't have the CF purge. I, I did have coughing spasms, and these coughing spasms were like no other coughing spasm I'd ever experienced. Like my whole body was just like coughing and to the point where I felt like I was going to throw up. And I've had those coughs a couple times, but having those coughs are the scariest things ever just because you don't want to throw up. <laughs> and to be coughing that much, it's, it's very intense. Um, I did have some production of mucus where I was coughing it up, but it wasn't just like constant. It was... I guess the best way I can describe it is that 
before I started Trikafta, my coughs were like a spasm, like a high-pitched spasm. Then when I started Trikafta, my coughs turned into very productive coughs slash spasm. Hey guys, so I thought I would give you guys an update on how I'm doing. Um, it is Wednesday, December 18th. I started Trikafta on Sunday, uh, the, what day was that? That was the 15th. Um, so, I've been on this for three days, and today's my fourth day. Day one, I noticed that I was able to have more of a productive cough during my breathing treatments. I had only one coughing spasm that night. Um, a little bit more drainage from my sinuses and I was able to breathe in deeper and this was just on the first day so the second day same thing more productive cough um, drainage from my sinuses but only only one coughing spasm and I was in the morning. Um, usually when I had coughing spasms, it'd be a small handful of them throughout the day, like spread apart. So the fact that I only had one coughing spasm each day says a lot. Um, I've also noticed I can breathe in a whole lot deeper than I have in a long time. And I didn't even realize that because I guess I've adjusted to how I breathe over the years where it's just like I make do with what I have and I kind of forgot what that felt like like yeah I could breathe in deep but not this deep like basically I'm able to hold notes longer when I sing and my singing has improved because I'm able to take in a deeper breath and I haven't the way I've been singing I haven't been able to sing that way since like freshman or sophomore year of high school. So that says a lot. It is December 21st, 2019. And this morning I finished my last dose of the first week. Today, this will be my first day back at work starting Trikafta. My sinuses, they sound a little bit congested right now, but that just means I need to do a sinus rinse. But there's lots of mucus that's been draining out of my sinuses but it never brought up enough mucus where I could actually cough it out a couple times that did happen but not a lot my CF purge actually happened with my sinuses cystic fibrosis has affected my sinuses ever since I was little I've had to have a few sinus surgeries I don't know how many sinus surgeries I've had I've kind of lost count but I've had to have sinus surgeries where they have to go in and clear the mucus from my sinuses so that I can breathe better and smell. And I noticed that mucus was just draining down the back of my throat from my sinuses. And sometimes I could cough that up. So a lot of times the mucus that I was coughing was not from my lungs. It was actually from my sinuses. So that was a little gross. <laughs> it tasted... My mucus tasted gross. One thing that... I don't know if this is common with a lot of CFers, but I mean the ones I've talked to, they they have said this too, that, okay, it's going to get gross for a second, but when we cough up mucus, sometimes we can taste it. Sometimes it tastes salty, sometimes it tastes nasty, sometimes it doesn't taste like anything. Um, I've, I've literally had these conversations with my CF friends, but... Um, I noticed that um, like usually when I cough up mucus from my lungs it's uh, salty and that's what I was tasting for a while even with while being on Trikafta but then just today I woke up and I could tell that my mucus tasted different and um, and I just I don't know I thought it was morning breath when I woke up <laughs> I didn't think much of it then I did my breathing treatment the taste was still kind of there 
and then when I did my evening breathing treatment, um, the taste was back. And guys, it tastes so bad. I, uh, like, I don't even have, like, a really productive cough. It's just me, like, <coughs> that's my cough. Like, ew, gross. Um, like, my cough is not productive or I'm getting chunks of mucus up. It's just, like, little like very thin things of mucus coming up. I'm probably coughing up stuff that um, is like way down there and Tricapta is now reaching it or something and I'm able to get it up. I don't know. It just, my mucus tastes different now and it's gross and it tastes weird. Not weird. It tastes really bad. It's worse than Bean Boozle Challenge and if you guys have not done the Bean Boozle Challenge, you're not missing out on anything. It is day... It is a day. It is day nine. It is day nine on Trikafta. And I am going surfing today. This is the first time I've gone surfing since starting Trikafta. First time surfing, or not, first time exercising since Trikafta. So I'm excited to see how my lungs do out on the ocean. I just sat there for a second and I could just breathe in so deep and just to have that moment of realizing that I can breathe in so much deeper and I hadn't done that for years was just a moment of this drug is working and that was just so so special to me where to this day that's one of my favorite favorite surfing days because it's where I started to realize that my life is about to change. <laughs> Good, perfect. Keep going, go, go, more, more. Push, push, push. A little bit more. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. Keep going, go, 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 go. Deep breath in. Beautiful. Go ahead and take it out enough. I'll give you a break between these. <laughs> and deep breath in, do what you can. Push. Good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Almost all the way push 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 a little bit more keep going keep going and a fast breath in good take a break excellent and next breath big deep breath in perfect go 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 keep going keep going all the way push push keep going keep going keep going all the way push 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 fast in okay good and take it out of your mouth about a month of being on Trikafta, I went to my next pulmonary appointment. And when I did my lung function test, I was very excited and nervous, but I was also in my head too much. When I get in my head too much, 
my technique is off when doing um, pulmonary function tests. There is a certain way to do it, and I mean, everyone has their own way, and I have my certain way of doing it. And when I do it right, when I blow out right, everything just is great. The numbers are what they actually are. But when I get really nervous, or I psych myself out, and I get in my head, I, when I'm blowing, I close up my throat to where the numbers are probably like ranging from 5 to 15% down than what they could be. I did my pulmonary function test about three times and I was tired by the end of it because I was putting all my energy into it, but at the end I knew that it was not, it was not accurate because I knew that I had messed up. My lung function number was 89, which is a huge, huge jump from 72, from 72 to 89, like that's huge. And my team was so ecstatic because they'd never seen me have that number before and they were just so happy to see it. The only thing is, I was not happy with it. Um, yes, I had hoped for my lung function to be in the high 80s when starting Trichafta. But at the end of the day, what I really want is the 100s. I really want my lung function to go back into the 100s. And I was just so bummed that it's not in the 90s, you know? And I knew that if I hadn't like locked up my throat, it might have been up in the 90s. And I was just so mad at myself because I just, I knew that number wasn't accurate. Just knowing myself and knowing how hard I've been working with exercising and um, taking my medication and doing protocol and how hard I've just been doing and everything and it was just, it was frustrating because I know that wasn't an accurate number and um, so now I gotta wait till March and <laughs> hopefully don't do that again. Um, I'm very hard on myself. I kind of get in this mindset of I need to be the perfect patient. I've done this ever, s I don't know how long I've done this for, I've, I've done this for a while. It's been something I'm still working on, I've gotten better, but I'm, it's still something I'm working on. But I get this, I get in this mindset where like I have to be the perfect patient. Like my doctors have to be happy with what I'm doing. Like my numbers have to be like x y and z so that they're really happy and they're proud of me and they're gonna be like good job ashley and if if my numbers don't meet that then they're like okay well let's fix that and in my head i'm thinking i messed up i'm a failure i'm not the perfect patient i'm not doing a great job and i mean no one's a perfect patient but i mean you can do all you can to make sure that you're healthy and everything like that but i just love getting a you did a good job from your team <laughs> and um, you know when I don't hear that I just I get frustrated and I think that you know it's my fault it's my fault that my body's doing this when you know there are things that are out of my control after giving myself grace from that previous appointment I decided to work harder at things that I was already doing I began working with a personal trainer and this meant strengthening different areas that I wanted to strengthen, getting better at balance. My my training sessions were intense, don't get me wrong, they were intense, but I noticed how well my body was doing and feeling and how much deeper I was able to breathe. So I knew that overall I was feeling better. I was feeling so much better. But it was just really mind-blowing that I was just working and working and working and seeing how much my body was just able to do now and and I was able to start testing the limits and seeing what I can do.
Hey guys, so I wanted to document this moment really quickly, but I just got out of the gym and I worked out for two hours. I have never worked out for that long before. In February of 2020, I had an appointment with my ENT doctor and we took a look at my sinuses and my sinuses have gotten clearer. They, there's still some mucus in certain areas, of course there will always be mucus in certain areas, but um, it's definitely a lot more clear and I'm able to I'm still continuing to be able to smell and breathe well and my ENT doctor was very impressed to see what the results were and she was fine with not seeing me for like six months or so which usually when I see my ENT doctor it's every three to four months so to not see her for six months means that she is very happy to see how things are going and that there's no need for any antibiotics or steroids or discussions of sinus surgeries um, in this current time. The following appointment was actually my pulmonary appointment and again I was nervous, I was, I was really nervous for this and I really wanted to, I really wanted my lung function to be higher, um, higher than 89 and unfortunately this past time my lung function was lower. It was it was either 82 or 86. I cannot recall what the number was, but it was lower than 89. And I was disappointed with that. I was not happy with that. And again, I my technique was off and again, I locked up my throat because I was in my head too much. But this time, I wasn't as hard on myself. You know, I I gave myself grace immediately afterwards, and I'm just like, you know what? Even though the number is lower than last time, I know the improvements that Trikafta has made for me, and I know that I feel great and I know that I can surf better, I know that I can sing better, I know that I can perform again. And those are the top things that I really wanted. And I know that with this medication, I, continue, I can continue to test the limits and see what my body can do. Trikafta is not a cure. It does not change the damage that has already been done, but it can make life a whole lot easier for those with cystic fibrosis. I can't and I won't forget that there is still a 10% of the CF community that has not been able to have Trikafta or Combi or Syndeco and that all the research right now is being put into that 10% so that they will be able to have something that will prolong their life but also will make life easier for them or even one day CF will no longer stand for cystic fibrosis, but it will stand for cure found. This has been my journey of being on Trikafta so far, but it's only the beginning and who knows what the future can hold of what this medication can continue to do for my life, but for others.